With bitter cold temperatures headed for Kendall Land by the weekend, there will be more focus on keeping people safe, including the homeless. Yesterday, a person died outside one of the organizations that strives to help those in need. Kendall Land's Tom Hansen goes looking for some answers. Monday morning around 6.30, police were called to the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House, a place that has been feeding, housing, and protecting those down on their luck since 2013. Police found a man in the snow who was unresponsive. Paramedics arrived and determined he was already dead. There was some surveillance cameras in the area that kind of had, I don't want to say it captured the whole thing, but enough where they could kind of get a sense of what happened and it seemed like he just laid down and, and went to sleep. So there doesn't appear to be anything suspicious. Madeline Shields, the executive director, knew the man and says it's been a sad few days for the staff and residents of the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House. It's particularly distressing. Um, you know, it's super sad that um, we have people that are um, unable to come inside or not make it inside or, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know why. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just very difficult and sad, and our whole mission is to, you know, shelter people. Shields says the staff does perimeter checks to make sure something like this doesn't happen, but the man wasn't on their property, so no one saw him. It's not uncommon for police officers to find people passed out, either from drugs or alcohol, and when that happens, they will transport the person to a safe place. You know, a lot of the transient population, they are good about finding a place to sleep, a, a warm place. Certainly the Mission, uh, St. Francis House, Bishop Dudley House, uh, provide a shelter for them and others will stay with either family or friends that, uh, that have homes. So um, a lot of them are good about finding a place where to stay, to, to stay warm, but occasionally we do find some people that succumb to the elements. The exact cause of death isn't known and autopsy results won't be available for several weeks. Tom Hansen, Kello Land News. In 2022, the South Dakota Housing for the Homeless Consortium estimated that the number of homeless in Sioux Falls at 406. Rapid City was even higher at 458.